now. But one space that has done really well in the past many weeks and months is this entire cable industry, cables, wires, etc. KEI Industries reported a good set of numbers, um, double-digit uh, top-line growth, 16% actually. Revenue growth margins gained more than 300 basis points. Cables and wires, stainless steel wires showed very good growth, while the EPC project segment lagged a bit. We have Anil Gupta, the Chairman and Managing Director at KEI Industries. Uh, Mr. Gupta, it's always great speaking to you. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, yet again. You know, this time uh, the cables and wire segment was quite good. The revenue growth was largely led by that. But can you tell us what are the demand trends looking like right now? And do you think the 16, 18% growth on the um, cables and wire segment or on the top line rather is something that you can maintain uh, by the end of the year as well? Yeah. Good morning, Sonia. Uh, I think uh, uh, demand is robust in uh, public sector as well as in private sector. And uh, we expect that this momentum will continue. Uh, we have also uh, uh, are getting significant significant demand from export market also, and uh, you can see that our export has grown significantly com as compared to last year. Uh, almost ninety eight percent growth is there compared to uh, same period last year, and uh, this traction should continue. So I hope that next year also, as per our guidance, we should be able to maintain a growth of 15 to 16 percent. Uh, and uh, by this year end, uh, as guided earlier, around 16 to 17 percent overall growth is expected. We are able to improve our EBITDA margins also, uh, as you have said, by 300 basis points. As per our calculation, it is uh, 11 percent, but as per your calculation, it is 10.5 percent. So it's so all okay. Uh, and okay. that has also improved. So just one more word on exports. I think your long-term goal is to reach 20% of exports in your overall sales, right? You're currently 10%. Uh, by when do you think you can get to 20% and what is the order book like in the export market? What's the order visibility? Uh, this year we expect to reach around 12% of our sales uh, from exports. And uh, for reaching 20% uh, exports, uh, it will take two or three years because we need capacity. We are building up capacity and as soon as new capacities are on board, uh, we should be able to uh, bring that uh, numbers in, in ex exports. Okay, all right. Hi, Mr. Gupta. Good morning. Nigel on this side. Uh, you know, Mr. Gupta, I had a couple of points with regard to the segments that you'll have uh, reported. One being? In the housing wire and winding wire segment, out there you've grown by close to 23%, which is much better than a peer that had reported uh, numbers last week. What caused this sort of a growth on this wire segment, if you'll give us clarity? Um, actually, I have not studied um, uh, the other uh, company's numbers, but so far as we are concerned, we are trying to uh, grow uh, in uh, every nook and corner and we are trying to improve our dealership uh, and uh, that is uh, the the reason that we have grown by around 23 percent but overall over the full year uh, it should not be more than 20 percent as per my expectation sometimes in a quarter it is a abrasion that you grow more yeah Okay, got it. So that's on the, you know, housing wire and winding wire segment. The other point I want to look at is a EHV. I recall you told us, you know, you should end the year, I think, around 500, 550 crores, if I remember correctly. You've already done more than 400 crores, and that segment is ramping up quite well. What do you end this year with on the EHV segment? Um, it should be uh, reaching around anywhere between 550 to 600 crores. So uh, the... Demand is uh, good and uh, we hope to maintain this momentum uh, next year as well. Uh, but our capacities are uh, 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 this much only. So next year also, we'll be able to maintain the this much uh, sales only. Mm. Right. Uh, <clears throat> so hi, good morning, uh, Prashantya. Uh, but it'll, uh, this, this, the EHP segment in FY25 should be uh, I mean, are you saying a 20% growth there as well in the segment or should it grow faster as compared to the others? See, You've done nearly um, 200 crores of sales this, this quarter, in a quarter. Uh, I expect that next year also we should be able to reach around 600 crore because I, I just mentioned that 
we can't produce more than that. So we until we ramp up our capacity in our new upcoming plant, uh, we will not be able to grow in this segment. What mm -hmm. can you provide us with an update on the capacity expansion uh, that's going on? Uh, the capacity next year, this year we are expect to uh, do a capex of around 500 crore and next year it should be around six to 700 crore uh, because our new uh, plant is coming up at Sanand near Ahmedabad and uh, the first phase of it should be uh, away 15 to 16 months from here and, uh, uh, and the full project will be completed by in 24 months from now. Okay. You know, I had one question on margins. You briefly mentioned it, but just wanted to spend a little time on that. Your margins are way below some of your peers like Polycab, Havels, Finolex, etc. Just trying to understand why that is. And when do you think you can get to this band of 11-12% margins? No, I mean, uh, you know, we are uh, almost at par with the Havels. But so far as Polycab is concerned, maybe because of the uh, larger scale of operations and, uh, uh, you know, operational efficiencies uh, and uh, uh, logistics, they are doing a little better. Okay. Mm. So, uh, by when do you, just the follow up there, by when do you think you can get to, uh, you know, 11, 12%? Is it in this year? I, are you looking I at it in FY25? I think uh, we should be able to improve it by half a percent next year. But to reach 2x plus 2 percent level should take around two years. So you're telling us, Mr. Gupta, that this year you'll end closer to around 11 percent. Next year you'll go to say to around 11 and a half percent. And by FY26 maybe you could be in that vicinity of around 12 and a half to 13 percent. At least that's the goal as of now. Things are volatile, but as of now, do you expect uh, this is the trajectory? Yes, of course. Okay, all right. Right, uh, <clears throat> got that. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there, Mr. Gupta. Appreciate you joining in and uh, thank you very much uh, for coming on here on uh, CNBC TV 18 with the results. Stocks uh, up about 4% uh, or so, 4 and a quarter percent, uh, looking very, very strong.